I am five years old. I am in Mitchellum School. I am in grade one class. I'm 10 years old and I'm in just 2. I attend early life secondary school and you're welcome to the experience TV. All over the world, all over the world, beautiful children around. All over the world, all over the world. Unscripted show. So I have Mirabel and uh, Adobe. <laughs> Are you happy to be on the show? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. What about you, Adobe? Yes, ma'am. You're happy to be on the show? Yes, All right. They are happy to be on the experience show. So stay back and uh, enjoy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So tell me, Adobe, what's your favorite food? Because looking at you, I know you like food. Am I lying? Mm. <laughs> I know. So what's your favorite food? My favorite food is Indomie and fried egg. And what again? Yam and sauce. OK. So which of them can you make very well? Indomie and fried egg. I know. <laughs> so how many times do you eat in one day? Maybe. Two or three times. It can't be two times. Must be three, four, or five times. No. <laughs> Are you sure? No. You don't sneak into the kitchen. No. When nobody's watching. To go and take one or two. No. Are you sure? No. Okay. All right, Mirabel. What's your favorite subject? Mathematics. Mathematics. Mathematics, really? So why is mathematics your favorite subject? Because it is fun. It's fun. And I, do you think mathematics is fun? Not fun. I don't you. think so. Oh. Although I did science in school, but I didn't find it fun. So why is it fun to you? Because I can solve any mathematics. Any mathematics? If I give you something to solve now, you can comfortably. Really? Really? Okay. What's your age again? Five. You're five years. So if I add... Um, if you add 16 years to your age... 21. Could you even allow me to finish? <laughs> She's amazing! Amazing! My five. Yeah, okay, okay. What would you want to do when you grow up? A mathematics teacher. A mathematics teacher. This is incredible. This is on another level. Uh -uh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's your favorite subject? English. English. Why English? Can you speak very well? Fluently? Yes. yes. Okay, so tell me why you prefer English. So, why I like English is because when they are cheating, when they are, when the teacher is teaching it, I normally like it and I normally ask questions. Okay. And when I even ask question or when she the teacher asks me question, I normally get the question and if you see my results in English, I normally do very very, very well. well. Okay. Yes. So, so when and I have the passion for for the subject. Okay. So when you see people uh, speaking wrong English, do you feel like I need to? Correct this person, regardless of the person's age or. Sometimes I normally feel afraid to correct my elder when they speak wrongly, but my genius I can correct them. Okay. 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 <laughs> but you still can still politely, auntie, uncle, you know. Yes. 
All right, okay, you are still on the experience reality unscripted kids show. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. I mean, it's not all the time that you see a kid, a smart kid, that um, sees mathematics as fun. <laughs> okay, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So tell me, Mirabel, who made you laugh today? My mom. Your mom. What did she do? She made me happy. I know. I said, what did she, what did she do to make you smile, laugh today? By bringing me a... Aww. Aww. Thank you, mommy. We love you. <laughs> Okay, so what is the funniest thing you've heard recently? Recently, mm. funniest thing I've heard. Um, I've not heard any funny thing recently. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, you don't remember? I don't remember. Okay, if you are to. If you are to go on. If I give you 100,000 right now, what are you going to do with it? Okay, my mom has a shop okay. where she sells food stuff and food stuffs and other things. So okay. I'm going to give her the money to buy more goods and put in her shop. Oh, very, very good kid. Nice okay. one. Yeah? Good. I like that. Okay, Mirabel. You want to be a mathematics teacher where you grow up? It's Aside my... that, what other things you want to do? What are your hobbies? The things you like to do? Acting. Acting? Have you acted before? Where? My house. Okay, what did you act as? As a princess. As a princess? Of which kingdom? Of a... <laughs> kingdom. Okay, so if I give you something to act, or if I cast you in my movie now, can you act very well? Are you going to be acting for us today on this, on the show? Okay. So, Adobe, what are your hobbies? I also like acting. My hobbies are acting, singing, dancing, listening to music, and I think that's all. Okay, so what are, which one are you performing for us today? Do you have acting any? and dancing. Acting and dancing. I can't wait. Okay, 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 okay. So, who bought you? When is your birthday? June 12th. June 12th. Okay. Um, what would you want your parents to buy for you as your birthday present? No idea? Laptop. Laptop. Okay. Why do you want them to buy you a laptop? To be calculating things. <laughs> well, you can use calculator to calculate things. You have plenty of money. You like to be calculating your money. <laughs> Where did you get the money from? My father gave me. Aww. My father gives you money. Ah, but you don't need a laptop for that. You need a calculator. Moreover, I can calculate it in your head. You are a mathematics guru. Hmm? Okay, Mirabel. So, tell me something new that you've learned today or this week. Any idea? Um, You've not learned anything new since this week? Oh, oh I've learned, I've learned. What is that? Um, I learned how to cook soup. Soup? What soup? Feel the experience. Welcome back. So, uh, you're acting and dancing? Yes, you're going to be acting and dancing. And uh, you also be acting and dancing, right? Yes. Are you going to act together? I what do you think? Without... Okay, you want to do your own alone? Yes. Okay, no problem. All right, so when we come back, we'll see the, these amazing kids performing for us. Stay tuned and enjoy the performance. We'll be right back. Feel the experience. Oh, my stomach. Oh, God. 
Adobe. Adobe, thank you so much for that wonderful You're performance. Welcome. I hope you enjoy that. Mm -mm. Okay, so we'll be right back for Mirabel's performance. Hello, my name is Mirabel Ricoli. I am here to show you all a tip of my acting skill. I am the princess of Uvuru Kingdom. I am the princess of my parents. I am bold and beautiful. I am that princess who never fear but stand up for myself. I am that princess who discovered that I was fierce and full of fire and that not even I could hold myself back because my passion born brighter than my fear. I am a superstar. Thank you. And yes, you are a superstar, Mirabel. Thank you so much. Feel the experience. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. You're indeed a superstar. And with that great performance from Mirabel here, we have come to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for watching and uh, make it a date with us next episode. Bye. Say bye. 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 The princess of Uvuru Kingdom, right? The mother of the princess is a queen, so automatically you're a queen now. Yes. <laughs> her royal highness. Can you tell us a little more about her? <laughs> She's, uh, let's say she's, um, I see, um, I keep seeing myself in her, and to be honest, she has been doing good, um, and I'm proud of her, even in her academic field, she has been doing good, coming out in spelling bee competition, and she keeps the, um, being the lead leader, in everything, everywhere she finds herself, she keeps yeah, I've been doing this show for quite some time now, and I've never seen a kid that said that she loves mathematics. Like she said, it's her best subject. Yeah. How come? Come, what's happening? Yes, <laughs> me, I love mathematics. So, and any any time I want to teach them, I make sure mathematics comes first. I teach them mathematics, and they, I can say that she knows her timetable very well. Even her brother of her sibling, she knows her knows her timetable very well. She's good in that, and she came first position ever since she started being school. She has been taking first position in her mathematics, wow. and she's doing well. Wow, 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 wow. She mentioned something about becoming a teacher. Are you in support of that? <laughs> I'm even surprised because she keeps changing what she wants to do. She will say she wants to be a teacher. At the end of the day, she will change another thing. I asked her, why do you want to be a She said, because they have money. Teacher used to have money. <laughs> Next time, she will change again. So, okay, don't worry. Before you, maybe before you finish your primary school or secondary school, you might end up. Uh, you might know what you want to be in future, but now you are still confused. But I'm sure uh, with time she will narrow down her choices yeah. and she will make you proud. But for, but for now, enjoy your position as the Queen of Uvuru Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep watching the experience. Could you tell us a little bit, how is it living with her in the house? Oh, she, she's a drama. <laughs> she's a drama doll. She can't. In fact, she didn't do the way she normally do at home. She's doing very well. I, I didn't expect, she didn't really do what I wanted her to do here. But all the same, she has been good. And she has been longing to be here. She has been longing to see this opportunity. And it has come true. So she's, in fact, stepping inside here is, is like she has, she has, she's now an actress. So her dream has come true. And I believe she will go further and she will do her best. How is she coping? Is she doing well in school as well? She's doing very well. She's 10 years and she's in um, JS2 now. Um, she, her result this term is quite impressive. So she's doing very well. Keep watching the experience. Where did you travel to? London. London. Who took you to 